Search the back garden. Okay, so now I need to go all the way back. Let's get murdered in the graveyard, shall we? Seems like a good time. Excuse me, miss. Gotta walk past you. Smacked my mouse by accident when I was doing that. All right. Oh, we've already been back here, so I assume a cutscene's gonna trigger when we get somewhere. Yep. There we go. I like this nurse. It's just like one random, unnamed, kind of nice nurse. She probably has a name, I just can't remember it. Oh, this is Tsubaki Tono. Okay. It was my uncle's recommendation that brought me to Rogetz Isle. At first, I was quite apprehensive, but both the islanders and the infirmary staff have shown me so much kindness, helping me to settle into my new job and my new life here. I appreciate now what good advice my uncle gave me. I feel so lucky to be here. Turns out that this is the year of the Rogets Kagura, an important island festival that's only held once a decade. At the center of this Kagura is a woman called a vessel who performs a dance as an offering to the gods. I was very surprised when the islanders asked me, an outsider, to take the role of the vessel. Please be the vessel in our evil murder dance. Yeah, no, you don't need to know anything special about it. It just erases your memory, makes you lose your sense of self, and then we send you to hell. And if you're lucky, you come back. Does that sound good? Sound good to you? You should be honored. They explained that the vessel should be a woman around my age, beautiful and impressionable. When they put it like that, how could I possibly refuse? I mean, being called impressionable is not a compliment. That is not a nice thing. They're calling you naive and gullible. <laughs> What are you talking about? You should have refused immediately. You should have said you're an asshole and then turned around immediately and then walked straight out of there. It's such an honor to be allowed to take part in an ancient island tradition. This will be an excellent opportunity for me to express my gratitude to Rogat's Isle for all the happiness it's brought me. I'm truly thrilled. Before the festival, I have to take part in a purification ceremony where I bond with the vessel mask worn during the Kagura. Okay, but hold on. They're calling you impressionable and beautiful, but then you also need to be purified, so you're also dirty and gross. Cool. You're not spiritually pure. You're not chaste. <laughs> Hearing about this made me a little more nervous than I was when I accepted the role. I hope it all goes to plan. Blackened film. That was her right there. So Tsubaki Tono was the vessel, which is probably... She's probably very evil. She probably turned evil and wanted to murder us. Ben says, Japanese culture is really wacky. I mean, I don't know if I would attribute this game's fictional evil island culture to Japan entirely, but yes, uh, <laughs> these island traditions are pretty messed up. to participate in a traditional murder festival on an island, maybe run from the island. Like, you are two steps from becoming wed to a deep one. Like, it's just not, probably not good for you to do that. I'm gonna put it out there as a, like, as a pretty strong bet. 
that your life is in danger if you do that. I can't believe how many enemies are here. I have no moon power. <sighs> Gotta run and charge it up. Gotta reload. I feel like if I rubber banded the control stick to just like run me in circles, nothing would ever touch me. Do I remember the case of the girl in the barrel? Uh, it sounds familiar. I assume it's the case where the girl was found in a barrel. If that's like the murder case, I think that was in the early 90s, wasn't it? Is that what I'm thinking of? Japan's very high grotesque crime rate is very interesting, especially in that era. The early 2000s and 90s were whack. <laughs> Avala says, we should save true crime for another time. Yeah, that one, that might be a pretty dark vibe. That'll get my VOD demonetized. But the topic of Japanese crew, true crime is actually pretty interesting. One of my favorite, uh, this is just to, to give someone something to look up on Wikipedia. If you want to hear about interesting Japanese crime that isn't super grotesque and murderous, um, the, the case, uh, the, the Glico kidnapping case, Glico Morinaga kidnapping case is really interesting. Um, that involved a yet unfound kidnapper and ransomer named the Fox with 20 se uh, 21 faces. That's some real Conan shit. <laughs> it's really cool. But we don't need to get into that. That's, that's for you Wikipedia nerds to read about. Are these ghosts just spawning endlessly? Am I just farming points right now or is this like a boss fight? Gotta reload. I mean, there, there's no way they're spawning endlessly, right? There's got to be an end to this. Please tell me there's an end to this. We're already over an hour for this episode. It does seem like the amount of them is decreasing, so maybe, maybe I just have to kill these ones and then we'll be good. cardio folks you never know when you need to run around a uh, a bunch of huddled graves 150 times just to charge up your flashlight so you can kill some ghosts listen all, all i'm saying is this this might be a this might be a big deal someday you might need this i'm saving your life right now by giving you this advice charge your flashlight again. <laughs> Arnie says, I saw this in Looney Tunes once. Yeah, I mean, this this is a uh, this is a very famous folktale that's been adapted everywhere. You know the story. The story of having to run around a grave a thousand times, hitting ghosts with your flashlight. I guess we're just running. I don't I don't think that we actually 
have to fight everything. I think we're going to have to run. And if it turns out we do have to fight everything, then fuck them. They can find us here. Well, we can bring them all the way to the, the door, and they can deal with it. Because either way, we just made like 200,000 points. Well, we can buy endless healing items now if we want to. Look at how little damage this stuff does. Ugh. Come on, turn around, Chojiro. Jeez. What's my objective? Check the footage on the film reel. My guess is they're just gonna chase me all the way to the cafeteria where I can check the footage. Probably a good guess. Is the door blocked? It does not appear to be, so we'll just go inside. Bye, ghosts. It was good. When do we pull the masks off? Yeah, that'll happen at the end. We'll pull the mask off, and there will be a horrible, horrible nightmare uh, underneath it. Tur it turns out that the Lovecraft and horror was Old Man Jenkins all along. The moral of the story is that the real love craft and horror is living right next to you in your hometown. All right. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just gotta go to the gotta go to the cafeteria after that absurd, endless spawning ghost fight. Sink man. Very cool. It's scary because people aren't supposed to be in sinks. You know? Very spooky. People don't belong in a sink. What was he doing there? Probably something scary. Oh, fuck off. Akira Ishida ass sounding motherfucker. I'm gonna laugh if that's actually who played him. <laughs> Kaji Yuki or Ishida Akira or something. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt that's actually him, but. They had to make sure he walked extra slow just so we know. Just so that we can capture him instead of just making the camera zoom that way when we were closer. Okay, now now he can go to the old building. Very neat. Was there a ghost fight in here? I think there might have been. When we were down here earlier. Yeah, there was. Alright. Okay, we're, we're close. <laughs> I constantly look unimpressed. It's probably because I'm frowning in real life because the game's frustrating me. And, uh, <laughs> it's just reading is very, very unimpressed. Let's trade. Okay, uh... Herbal medicine. Look how much, how many points I have on this guy. I literally just spent a hundred thousand points, and I I still have points left over. <laughs> All right, film real time. All right, where's the spooky ghost lady who wasn't there originally?
She got sent to hell. That was the point of the ceremony. Find clues about the priestess's death. Okay. Burned painting. There's a half-burned oil painting in the fireplace. Our third investigation notes as well. ロームスカン。ようやくロームスカンの患者に聞き込みができた。関係者以外は入るのが難しいが、サイカさんの口添えもあって何とかもぐり込めた。月遊病というのは記憶をなくす病気らしく、言っていることはほとんど要領を得
making sure I just have to run. Nope, the door is locked, so I have to fight. Great. Ridiculous amount of damage these guys take. Oof. Let's use one of our thousand herbal, rem uh, herbal remedies. We are totally good on never being threatened. We basically have infinite health. Alright, let's hope that we can charge up our flashlight. Get out of here. <gasps> what? I let go of the button. Oh well. Lost that goody, I guess. Nurse entering lift. Let's follow her for now, I guess. Actually, uh, one of the things I'm going to do is buy more herbal medicine because I'm pretty sure the points reset for each person. They're like individual, so just spend all of our money on more herbal medicine and just have a ton. There, we have 33 now. We'll never die. Good for us. Where do we want to go for? The fourth floor is the one that we weren't able to go to before, right? No response. Okay, we'll go to three. There's something about room 309. Three oh eight and three oh nine. So I think there'll probably be a ladder there or something. That's my guess. That's my guess. Alright. Thanks for guiding us exactly where we need to know we need to go, ghost nurse. It's very kind of you. I'm assuming maybe she's in there. Nope. Oh, logbook. One item to report. Yuko Magaki in room 309 has shown some drastic changes recently, and his behavior is increasingly problematic. He causes disturbances, shouting out suddenly at the top of his voice, and grinning like a man possessed. Last night, after lights out, he started causing a racket. I ran to his room to check on him, and he grabbed me and started screaming, Annihilation! Over and over. There have also been some disturbing changes in his paintings. He keeps painting pictures of a sinister-looking woman. There is no longer any doubt that the woman he paints is the patient in the isolation room. Why does he keep painting pictures of her? I believe they are an omen foretelling the awakening of one with no face. Or the or the lady in the in the room has a creepy stalker. You know, that's also possible. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Okay. 
309 it is. Let's go. Am I going to need to do this puzzle again? Yeah, that's annoying. The code is 1954, isn't it? This is a long chapter. I'm really surprised. I'm going to have to cut the video into two parts, probably. Do I not want to turn around immediately and go back over there and listen to whatever is on the call box? It's lit up. Can't interact with it. Okay. Hmm. Which room is this? I don't think this is the one we need. Oh, Yuko Magaki is the boy. It's all the way over here, right? I think so. Okay, it's locked. Great. Okay. Is it railroading me or is there a puzzle I just need to solve? This was Misaki's room, I think, right? Something like that. Look at that big phonogram or gramophone. Phonogram. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is over here? Closet stuff of women's clothing. There's a basket containing old dolls, hats, and other children's things. Okay. Don't think I didn't notice you. There we go. Spooky doll curse. All right. So, where can we go if not here? Because this seems to be the only place that the game was like telling us to go to. We need to go into this room. This is uh, Luca's room. Luca, The closet is shuddering because it's trying to spook me out, I guess. It's right here. Wow, how spooky. We're spooked right now. Big old load of nothing. Alright, uh, let's look around for this item that is allegedly here. I let go of the button the second I hear it and it still hits me so I just think that there's some of these are just there to bug to screw you over and if you don't know they're there then you just can't preemptively do anything about it which is fine I mean it's whatever it's just like upgrade stones and random garbage like that that's not super necessary but this is gonna be like a journal probably no a photo and Sayaka's diary okay Everything is getting out of control. Soya has been completely consumed by his obsession with his Yomotsuki ancestor, and now the Haibaras have started behaving in ways that I simply can't understand. I have to get Ruka better. I have to take her away, somewhere far away where they've never even heard of this island, and I won't have to hear the name Rogetsu. Choosing between my husband and my daughter isn't easy, but saving Ruka is the only thing that matters to me now, and I'll do it no matter how long it takes. I'm so sorry, my darling Soya. Somewhere deep inside you is the man I once cared for, who I still care for, but you've buried him so deep inside this madness that I don't think there's any way to save you. I'm leaving Rogetsu Isle. Okay. Cool. Kinda checked out on that. 
Okay. Okay. Where are you, doctor? Can I just walk out? Yeah, I can. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so that one's locked, even though there's a, meant to be a graphic showing that. There isn't. It's great for me. Okay, so that does about a third of his health bar. He's close to death. Gotta kill him. There we go. Get bent, Doc. Small key. Okay, where does that go to? Alright, let's let's look in the inventory really quick. Items, key items, small key. A small, thin key covered in a rusty, red-like substance. Oh, we have another mysterious red substance. It's rusty. Maybe it's rust? Maybe it's dried blood? Who can say it's just a mysterious red substance in a murder hospital? All right, um, let's see. Mina, Can I not go in here? What? <laughs> Uh, okay. Where do I go? I guess I have to find what the small key belongs to. Uh, huh. Just trying to like wander around and figure out can I interact? It just wasn't letting me. Files are stacked with shelves written in a foreign language, it looks like German. Okay. That's whatever. Uh what do we need to do? Oh, I can't go down the stairs this way. Uh, let's check out the second floor, because maybe there's other stuff around here? I, I don't know. That's my guess. I guess the guy was obsessed with, well, no, he was obsessed with the, the isolation person, which I think was on the fourth floor, but we'll see. I want to go, I want to go back and check out the patient's rooms, I guess. Okay. 
One section of the wall is separated from the rest. It doesn't budge when pushed. Okay, do we have to go all the way around then? Because th we got out here through one of the patient's rooms, I think, right? Yeah, I think we did. I think it was... It's probably the... Oh, it's probably the kid boss again. Ayako? Was that her name? The, the murder girl? Dear Lord, <laughs> his run speed is just, I can walk faster than this guy runs. All right, so I think we have to go all the way over here. Is this it? No, it's not. It's the other room, I think. Ugh. I ain't fighting no one in this hallway. Uh-uh, not happening. Apollos' toaster's being a coward. I am not a coward. I'm bored. That's what I am. An austere metal bed. The sheets are caked in dust. They look like they haven't been used in a long time. There we go. I knew there would be something on his coat. Black notebook. This is my first time back to the island in quite a while. It's exactly the same as when I left it. Almost as if time doesn't flow the same way here as it does in the rest of the world. My sister is the same as ever, too. Uh, she's just like she was when we were children. I feel like she's gotten more innocent as she's grown up. Not less. Then again, maybe I'm just leaving her behind as I press on, getting ahead in life. Anyway, that's beside the point. My father was right, we don't have the luxury of choice. When I see the state she's in, I'm not sure if I can even wait till the Kagura. But I know how important the timing is. If she's in this condition because she was the vessel of the Kagura, then our only hope is to make her do it again. No, wait. Simply performing the Kagura with her isn't enough. The Kagura is for tourists. We need something more powerful than that. We need to bring back its original form, the Rite of Descent. I can hear the nurse shouting from across the room. There's a girl crying. Seems like Ayoko has been naughty again. Father says she's just like me, always getting herself into mischief. Such fun. Ayoko knows how to have fun, too. She knows the best ways to toy with her playthings. She understands the same thing I do. The only way to stay alive in any amount of time on this ancient, unchanging island is to have a little fun. Alright, dude. The shape of this lock. Could it be? Looks like it's floating on nothing. <laughs> There's a notepad in the box. Sealed film. I don't dare set foot on the mainland. I'd be arrested for sure. And with good cause. I am notorious for my crimes. This island is the safest place for me now. Detective Kirishima has been sniffing around, but I doubt he'll find me. I've actually rather been enjoying our dangerous little game of hide and seek. Why? A friend may betray your trust, but an enemy can be relied on to play their part. All Kirishima wants is to catch me. As such, I will always know what to expect from him. It somehow excites me to have an adversary. Come to think of it, Kirishima may be the only one who's ever taken me seriously. In any case, my preparations are complete. When the rite of descent is over, my sister will be released from her confusion and distress. Thinking about her reminds me of the song she used to sing when we were young. She's probably forgotten it now. Her memory isn't what it used to be. Hopefully when the rite of descent is complete, she'll be able to sing it for me just like the old days. Wait just a little longer, dear sister. It's almost time. When the ceremony is done, we'll leave this island, and we'll make up for your lost time, day by day. The three of us will live somewhere, quiet, where we can hear your song. 
Yeah, Moonlight Syndrome also involves a kind of weirdly incestuous relationship between a brother and a sister. Though in Moonlight Syndrome, it is a younger brother and an older sister. In this, it's uh, sort of flipped. All right, now we need to go play that, play that reel. Should just be this way, I think, right? Or am I not remembering? It's this way. I should probably just look at the map, huh? Before I waste all this time. Yeah, it's right this way. I would have walked the whole way incorrectly <laughs> before realizing. All right, here we are. It says there's stuff to pick up, but I don't really want to pick up anything. I'm pretty resource rich right now. That was kind of a boring film. I was for sure that was going to give us something really interesting. It did not. Okay, do we just have to go back <laughs> to where we were? I don't know. That's the double doors. We don't want that. I want to go over here, I think. Uh, maybe this unlocked that door, though, right? So let's go check out 309. that's where we were trying to go, right? That, like, painting studio? So, Haibara was, like, probably a serial killer of some kind. Because he's like, I have playthings, and I like to have fun. And we know Ayako is like, murder is fun, guts are pretty. So they probably both are just like generics, murder, or serial killer, psychopaths, or whatever. Wait, this is room 311. Where are we? Where am I right now? <laughs> I'm confused. Did I go the wrong way? This is not where I wanted to be. Did I just like autopilot and lose track of where I was going? I think I did. Because we wanted to check out the painting room, which I thought was over here, but is it not? How am I lost? Oh, it's over there. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, let's check those locked doors, see if anything's opened. Oh, okay, we can go in here now. Great. So basically, we've just repeated this this part of the game twice now. I bet we're gonna have to fight him again. Yep. He, he's just a little floor crawler. Wow, he did damage to me. All right, let's try to kill him. How is he doing damage to me from so far away? That's like horrifying. I mean, I have a million healing items, so I'm not really like in danger at all, but it's very annoying. I have to take pictures of him quickly. Where is he? Come on out. How did I do more damage to him, uncharged, than I did with full charge right next to him? Where is he? There he is. 1200 damage, not bad. Okay then, is there anything around here for me to pay attention to? Is there any reason we came here? A picture has been drawn on the floor. Oh, 